Hey everybody, it's Jocelyn. Um, this will be short and sweet. And I've been weighing 219.8. So when I stopped the injections in the stabilization phase that I'm in, I was weighing 222. So I'm hanging out at 220, 222. Um, I've been doing pretty good as far as eating. I'm trying to eat a little bit more, but I still don't trust what I'm eating. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just trying to keep on keeping on. Um, one of the things that I've been looking at was um, the starches. And when I was reading about the stabilization phase, I read no starches, no sugars. So, you know, I'm thinking, okay, rice, pasta, um, potatoes, squash, that type of thing. And then I was watching one of Mama Clock's videos and she was talking about food starch and corn starch being in foods. And I was like, oh my gosh, hadn't even thought of that. So I've been trying to read some packages and some of the stuff that I had been eating had some food starch in it. So I'm just hoping I haven't messed it up. And more concerned about um, resetting the hypothalamus. So maybe by the time uh, I get to my next stabilization phase, I'll kind of have a better idea about what I'm doing here. So I did get a book, 101 Worry-Free HCG Recipes. And when I was ordering from Amazon, there were a couple of other books that people were selling as kind of a resource guide for the Simeon's Protocol. And I wasn't sure if anybody had read those and if they had any um, suggestions about something good to read. There's a lot of knowledgeable people on YouTube and you know I've been watching their videos and stuff and I'm thinking okay where did they get all this good information? Is there a source that I need to be reading so that I'll be more informed? And I'm a little down tonight. I'm kind of bummed. I'm not exactly sure. Probably has to do with my birthday coming up on Saturday and uh, my sister's having some foot surgery on Thursday, so I'll be staying Thursday night and Friday night to help take care of her. And then, oh, excuse me, I have to work on Saturday on my birthday, so. I don't know. Um, I get this way around my birthday, and I hate it when I do this, but. Usually, when I would be upset or irritated or whatever, I would comfort myself with food. And so I'm kind of struggling tonight because I really want to do some comfort in here and uh, not not doing it. So it's kind of hard when you're not exactly sure how to change some of the habits and behaviors you've been doing with something different. <clears throat> so just thought I'd make a video and kind of talk about that for a little bit. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the Marilyn Monroe vlog that I did. On Halloween night, that was a lot of fun. I had a good time doing it. And I really, I look so hot as a platinum blonde. Yeah, but anyway, um, that's kind of my true personality, the crazy, goofy, silly, fun type thing. So tonight, I'm just not myself. In fact, I've made a couple of vlogs and I thought they were so depressing. I was like, delete, delete, delete. I'm not going to show those because I didn't want anybody else getting really, really down with them. So, um, anyway, I don't know. Um, Thanksgiving's coming up too. So I'm planning on having it at my house and um, probably we'll just eat whatever that day. Um, I could try and stay on the stabilization thing, but realistically, honestly, I will probably just eat whatever. I was trying to get back on the rounds so that I could count that as a loading day and have a good excuse to eat whatever I wanted and as much as I wanted. <laughs> but I'll be, I think, about four weeks five weeks into the stabilization phase, so I'll be really close. Um, I don't know. I may start a week early and 
I've heard I really need to wait six weeks, but um, I guess if I have about eight loading days, I'll be fine. Um, last time I did not load properly, so this time I will. I should have had three loading days last time, but um, I didn't. So I learned my lesson. Hmm. Learned my lesson good. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and close because... I'm kind of irritable and cranky, and I don't want it to um, affect anybody else's day, you know. So, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. And take care. I'll see you later. Bye. Kisses.